I'm so sorry if you guys hear that, but there's construction happening on the entrance of my condo. Um, yeah, so I just came back from the gym. It's Columbus Day, so I have the day off. And I just decided to make this day my grocery day anyways. So I just got a few things from Trader Joe's. You guys know that is my go-to. My boyfriend always makes money if he's like, you're literally a Trader Joe's hoe. But like, it's just like one of those guilty like adult pleasures that I have now. I realize besides Target, like Trader Joe's is just like my place to go. Now I will say I can't get all my groceries. Like there's some things that I have to go to like my local ones too. So, but anyways, let me go ahead and take my vitamins because I woke up, I was trying to wake up early and then my freaking, I my dumbass, I have two phones, right? So I set one phone to have the alarm and that phone died throughout the night and my alarm didn't go off until I woke up until like 9.30. Um, but, let me go ahead and take my vitamins right now. Yeah, don't mind me. I know I'm taking this is pretty bad. Don't take it with Coke. <laughs> take it with water. Don't follow what I do. But anyways, um, I went to the gym, so I'm glad that's out of the way. Let me show you guys really quick what I got from Trader Joe's. This is just like random stuff. I don't. I didn't need much. Um, orange juice. Love me some orange juice. Recently, I've been enjoying having the pulp, the extra pulp in it, so I got that. I have to get the coconut whipped cream, you guys. I love just, this is just adds a little extras, extraness to your coffee in the morning. Just make, little things like that make my day, seriously. <laughs> I got me some salmon. I haven't had salmon in a while, or like fish really, so I got some salmon to have. Apparently not today. Um, I got me some waffle fries. Every, every time I think of waffle fries, you guys, you guys always think of that one video, it was like back in the day. Waffle fries, I forgot what it's called, but. Anyways, I got that. So lately, I usually always get, let me show you the ones that I, the creamer that I always get. You guys know this. I always get this, um, Creamer, but I wanted to kind of switch it up. I've been actually trying the Trader Joe's creamers and I like it. It's just a nice little change. So sometimes, you know. But this one is actually for, I'm gonna take this back to my job. Having my job. But yeah, I got the coconut almond creamer. And then I also have this one, but um, the coconut creamer, this is dairy free, lactose free. It's different. But anyways. I got these chips. I'm such a chip person, like I just love chips. Um, but I was so hungry, I didn't eat breakfast because I was rushing this morning. So, I almost ate this entire bag on the way here. But these dill pickle chips, obviously if you don't like pickle, you're not gonna like it. But these, they're like, if you like salt and vinegar chips, I feel like you will like these. Like they also have that salt vinegar type of vibe, but with a little hint of like pickles in it. If that makes any sense. I got me some ravioli. I got these four cheese ravioli. I have some meatballs, so I think I'm gonna have the ravioli with meatballs for tomorrow's night, um, because my boyfriend's coming over, so I'm gonna have that for dinner for tomorrow. I also got this Spanish styled rice. So, let me tell you this. Before, I wanted to get a rice cooker, but recently I've been really enjoying just making like having these all ready to go like rice like it just makes life 10 times easier and everything is already seasoned you literally just have to like boil it cook it heat it up and that's it and it's ready to start and it tastes good so i definitely i'm gonna try this i never tried the spanish style rice so i'm gonna try this one I believe you gotta keep this in the freezer i believe yes i don't know um i i don't know this just sounded kind of good to me these scallion pancakes they look like these they're pancakes i don't know it has like peppers in them and stuff like veggie pancakes or something product of korea actually this is what it says korean type of thing but anyways i don't know one of these i'm gonna have this as well give it a try 
Lately, I've been into like like pastries. I don't know. Just it just sounds really good to go with your like pumpkin spice like, coffee or something on the morning. So I got these Alexa Volume One. Sorry. So I got these mini orange cranberry tea scones, and that just sounds so good. Last time from Trader Joe's, I got these vanilla scones. They were all right, but I feel like this one's probably gonna have like has probably more flavor to it. So I got those. Um, just stocked up on some almond milk. And last but not least, I also got some burgers. That is what I forgot to get. I forgot to get the buns. I always do that. Always forget to get the, get the buns. But anyways, I got some burgers to make. So that's nice. And oh, so you guys, little update on the curtains so let me tell you so um trying to put some light up here it looks really dark let me flip the camera and show you guys okay so we have an issue <laughs> so let me tell you so here is the 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 rods that i'm going to end up putting but it's it's perfect. It's actually the perfect size. I don't need it comes with the extender Which I don't need the extender this extra pole here. I don't need it But I still need something to hold in place now. It does come with like the brackets, right? Um, these brackets were already were already here when I first got here So I'm just gonna leave them here. You know, I'm just whatever. I'm just gonna leave them there. I don't I really don't like the brown Um, I can probably switch them out, but that's just whatever. I'm just gonna leave them there um, and the reason, let me tell you this, so yeah, the reason why I wanted curtains is because I just want like two curtains on the end of this window thing because you can peek through, like if somebody passes by, like people can actually look into my apartment, so that's a little annoying, I just want a little bit more privacy, that's the only thing, so, um, but I'm not able, because this is here, I'm not able to kind of like this, and I really am not trying to drill into the wall as well, so, I ordered these Amazon like adhesive bracket things for your curtain rods so I'm waiting for that to get but then I couldn't find I also couldn't find any curtains like the ones that I went that I saw like home goods and stuff they were just way too expensive way like really heavy curtains I was just like I need something just simple light curtains um, you know, I don't need something super expensive. I just need something to just kind of like cover the ends here. So I'm gonna go to Ross later and see if um, if I can find some there. Hopefully, if not, I'm probably oh, you know what a place. I think maybe Target. Target has like home decor stuff, so I'm probably gonna check out Target later. But let me eat first because I am starving. Your girl is starving, but. So yeah, I also, I had gone to Marshall's, right, to try and find the, the curtains, but I couldn't find any. They didn't have, they only had shower curtains, so they didn't have anything for, like, dining room, really. Uh, but I got these silicone, like, what is it, kitchen utensil sets, because I got these, like, really cheap, like, plastic ones that I honestly only use, like, one of them. I'm just going to throw the other ones out because I don't use them. Um... But I love these silicone ones. I feel like they're just, I love to cook with like silicone, this type of thing. So um, I got this, this was only $7.99. And I like this type of color set. I feel like it goes well with my kitchen color theme that I have. So, and then I just restocked up on some like hand soap for my sink, for my sink right here because I ran out. Um, I was actually gonna get it from Trader Joe's, but I don't know. I, these were really cute at um at Marshalls, and it was on sale for four dollars and fifty cents. I love the foaming soap, hand soaps. I feel like it lasts longer that way too. Um, and then I got a de-shedding tool. This is for your pet, right? Like to um remove extra fur hair. So the only thing is just like my new place i don't have a balcony or anything like that i have a little porch like i have to i'm probably gonna have to ask my boyfriend to help me like you know just hold her with a leash on and then while i brush her so that way i'm not brushing her and all the hair is inside the apartment you know what i mean so but yeah this was cheap too this was 
five bucks, four ninety nine. So I spent twenty dollars, less than twenty dollars here. <laughs> but okay, so the the brackets actually just came. Um, Amazon just dropped them off. So these are the non adhesive um, brackets that I was talking about. So this is like a little sticky thing that you just peel off and you stick it to like the wall or whatever you want to do it. So it's like a non drill bracket type of thing. So my only concern is because there's this like plate or like thing already there, I'm not gonna put it on the wall, it's gonna be on something else. So I gotta figure out, before I even try and go and buy the curtains, like I need to figure out how to actually put the pole to make sure it stays. Like I need the middle part to stay together. But oh yeah, let me show you guys my nails that I got from Walmart, I feel like they look kind of janky they're really out there <laughs> they're a little long for my preference but it's gonna be a short week so it should be okay <laughs> but um yeah so let me figure this out right now that ass was trying to like tape the middle part so that's what i was saying like i need something to hold it here Let's see. Yeah. So, okay, well, it fits the bracket. Hmm, I just need it to stay, so hold on. So I was able to stick it on there. I don't know if you guys can tell. Probably not because it's too zoomed out. Hold on. But now, let's see if I can actually put it. all right so this is what i have so this is the middle part that i was talking about like i don't want to put another bracket here and oh wait oh but there's this metal part there already where it won't latch on can y'all see that so this is kind of in the way which i'm assuming this is to actually hold the blind together but this is what i have um i don't it shouldn't fall off the ex i actually have the extender pull inside these so it, it should be okay i think so yeah so like i said i'm just gonna buy two curtains to put on the ends here so let's go shopping hopefully so i'm gonna check out ross and then target because target actually has like home decor stuff so i don't really know if they have curtains i'm hoping they do if they don't last resort is getting them off amazon so yeah all right so let me show you guys the bed sheets the ones that i just bought so i just want to give you an up close look of what it is. it's kind of like it's giving off like a metallic look love that i like i don't know the one that i had was like a fluffier like comforter Excuse me, but I actually like the fact that it's more like flat and more like, I don't know, it just looks more sleek, I feel like. Okay, so I am back. It was a little packed at Ross. So I actually got really lucky at Ross and I found the curtains that I want. Um, I'll show you guys the curtains. They were literally less than $20, you guys. That's why Ross always comes through for me. Because the one that I was looking at was like $50 and up. I was like, oh no, ma'am, we're not doing that. So, these cost me $17.99. Proud of it, baby. But anyways, these are the, the curtains. 
So this is exactly what I want. I just want it placed on the outer side because I have blinds right here in the middle. So I just, it's on the little end sides. This is what I want. Um, I think I like this color. Um, it's kind of like a cream, like a cream color. I don't know how to describe it. Like it kind of looks yellow up close a little bit, but it's like cream. I don't know. It's not a, it's like an off white, off whitish cream color. So I'm excited. I literally just need two pieces. I don't need like a lot of panels, you know, like a lot of panel sets. So, but yeah, this is perfect. And the also thing that I also like, the curtains that I have in this room right here, they have like a hole through them. If you don't, I don't know how to explain them. Like they have like holes through them where this one, you just, you'll just slide it through the rod. You know what I mean? So I actually prefer this style than that style, but whatever. It's already did. Like I said, this is not my permanent like home or anything like that. So this will do. I'm so excited. I'm going to put these on. Um, in a little bit and then let me show you of course i had to get other stuff so i got this green little so i don't know all the flannels that i saw i love flannel by the way but all the flannels that i saw at ross just i don't know they just weren't on my where my uh weren't my vibe like it just i don't know just the patterns that and the colors that they were using just weren't on my vibe but i found this cute little like thing does this oh i was about to say does this button up because if it doesn't then <laughs> but yes it buttons up it's like a shirt or like you can use it as like an overall hold on so hopefully it fits me let's actually try it on right now so yeah it's it's big enough so i'm just gonna use it as like you can put it like a little tank top little spaghetti strap but i just yeah it fits me <laughs> just wanted to make sure it fit me And I think this was like maybe like $13, $12. Ross <sighs> prices, $13.99, so 14 bucks really. Um, I also got a lot of green colors, geez. So I also got this cute little top. I thought this was cute. The only thing is that it does have like a little peek through in the middle, but I'll just probably just put like a little tank top on or something. I don't know. Or just like a bralette. But this is so pretty. Let's try it on over the sweater. It's just probably not. It'll look so bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this, but if it can fit through all this bulkiness, then it's a win for me. I hate these little strings. I always cut them, but yeah. So yeah, it fits me. <laughs> but isn't it cute? So it's gonna look like this with some cute little like black jeans or whatever. Or you can probably put them like off to the shoulder like that. I look ridiculous. Okay, let me take this off. <laughs> I got this shirt. Was $8.99, less than $10. I like the color. It's like a weird, like a metallic brown type of thing. I love that it's like flowy and it feels really like loose you can probably wear this throughout like any like it has to be stretchy you guys because like i said this one will look so cute as well oh my gosh i love it mm -hmm. this will look with some good with some like blue jeans or something or whatever you want honestly <laughs> but yeah so i got this one really like it that's what that looks like. I got these green, like I said, I got a lot of green. I got these Alexa volume one. I got these green boots. I just thought they were so cute. I love how they're like, I don't know, not too high top and not like too low. I like the sturdiness because where I live, it it's a lot of um, snow, you know, so I can, I need that. <laughs> But yeah, I really like them. I have here the strings. And they just look so cute. I'm actually going to get rid of the other ones that I have. Um, so I got these. And these were $26.99. So, love these. And then, I got some new, like, satin pillowcases. 
Um, I got these because the ones that I have just kind of like, just like it's bad quality now. They just got it all scratched up and stuff. So I like these pillowcases because these are like, it minimizes lash and hair damage, soft and gentle to the touch, maintain hair and skin. That's what that's why I got these because I wanted to protect my hair. And minimizes frizz and sleep lines. So, yeah, I got some new pet sheets. <laughs> okay, it looks, it looks kind of bad. Let me zoom out for you. It looks, I don't know, maybe it's the color that I'm not liking. It looks bad. They look like shower curtains, but they're not. I need help. I don't know. Something's wrong here. <laughs> Maybe if I like open it a little bit more, maybe. But even then, it just looks bad. I don't know. It looks bad. It looks bad. Yeah. Oh, this is such a fail. <laughs> I did all that for nothing. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should just get white next time. Yeah, I should probably just get white. It's just, the color is just really bad. And you can still kind of see through it. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll see, I'll I gotta figure out, I'm probably just gonna take it down, because it just looks bad, it looks bad, so. <laughs> Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, give me some suggestions because I am just like, I do, I think I got the wrong rods. I was supposed to get the ones that like curve at the end. So I might need to get those cause, and then the color of the curtains just looks horrible, horrible, horrible. You guys, home decor is stressful. I can only imagine once I actually have like my own house and stuff. Nah, nah bro, yeah. This is stressful.